The first thing that you may want to do with the JSON API module is to retrieve the information about the node or any entity. So to do that, uh, you need to know the UUID because the JSON API module doesn't work on IDs, only works with UUIDs. And there are several technical reasons for that. Uh, and what you need to know is that when working with the JSON API module, you uh, need to know three things. Uh, the first thing is the entity type that you want to use. In this case, it's a node. The bundle, uh, which is an article, and then the UUID. So once you have that, you need to append the underscore format API JSON and uh, then just send the request. Uh, when you do that, you will see that in return, you get um, payload with all the, all the properties. So um, one, of the, one of the things that you need to uh, consider is that why we are requiring you to have a different resource per bundle. And that is because having a node resource would lead you to have different fields in return, depending on the ID. However, if we add the article, we know that all the articles that we request in this resource will have the same fields when you make a, a get re request and will accept the same fields when you do a post request. So uh, there, therefore, you can have a schema of the data model that's behind the bundle, but you don't have it for an entity type in general. So that's, uh, that's the reasoning. Uh, next up, we're going to explain the output that you're seeing here.